Now for part D then, we've got to explain how the answers from part C up here support the choice of a Poisson distribution as a model. Well, we should be familiar with the fact that if you have a Poisson model, if x is distributed as a Poisson with a mean lambda, e of x equals lambda, remember e of x is the mean, and variance of x also equals lambda. So we've just worked out the mean and the variance and when we look at the two results here we notice that okay they're not exactly equal but there's not much difference really between them. If we had them to one decimal place they'd both be 3.7. So it's because of this, because we've got the mean and the variance as being roughly the same then that supports the use of the Poisson distribution. So my answer would be something like this. Since the mean and variance are almost the same value, then this supports the use of a Poisson model. All right?